Hey friends, hope you're doing fine. Today I'd like to share with you how you can open tar files and also how you can extract them using Python. As an example, I have a folder here, which is this one, and here I have a review polarity.tar.gz. So the file itself doesn't matter, but of what's of interest to us is how to unzip actually or extract this tar.gz file. So let's do that. For that, we need two modules. The first one is tar file, so import tar file. And the second one is simply the operating system. So we'll import OS just to change my, my path. So for the path, I can specify that and I actually already pasted or copy pasted that. So let me just paste it here on the side, as well as the code for unzipping the file and then we go through it. So um, that's basically it. So let me just copy the path here and paste it maybe here. And uh, then let me run this. Okay, so far so good. And let's go uh, one additional step because we need to have the file name. So which would be this one. So we go into the folder using operating system. So I say uh, os.changedir for change directory. And I simply put in the path. So this means that we now go into the path directory. And then if I list the files, so via os list dir and then I'm referring to the current directory simply putting a dot and execute this then I get a list here for the file itself and because I want to use the file so I need to use the first element from the list this is why I can simply type in a zero in here so because I'm doing this now I get the file name itself so without actually the, the list um, brackets right so I can store this under any kind of name but because my code here is referring to f name, so for file name, I can simply store it in that. So I can say f name is equal to that. And of course, if I execute this, just to show you what's inside, I still get the same value. And now how to extract this. So as I said, first we need to do uh, import the two libraries. In this case, operating system is just, uh, I just used it to extract a specific file. And now of course you can use if you have only one file, exactly the code like that, or you have multiple files, you can also use any kind of loop, of course, right? For loop and so on uh, to extract the files or a kind of list comprehension or anything like that. So what we do is we simply store file name. That's why I stored the variable here as well. If this is different for you, then of course, rename it here as well. And then we simply check with the ends with, starts with and ends with are simply, um, well, uh, functions which are available or methods which are available for strings and this is a string as we can see with the um, here the exclamation marks and uh, that's why we can simply check does it end with tar.gz or with tar so this is uh, extends a little the, the, the unzipping a little bit because we can check for both tar.gz files as well as tar files and uh, all we do is actually uh, if it is tar.gz, we simply use tar file, which we imported up there, and we open the name using the rgz, so read uh, gz file, and then we extract it. And because we don't use any package manager here um, with the with command, for instance, we simply have to close it here afterwards as well. That would not be the case if we use a package manager. Um, else, so the second part of the code simply checks whether you have a tar file. Because it could be that you don't have a tar.gz file, like we have in our case, but instead you have only a tar file. And then the only difference is actually when you open it, that you specify here the read instead of read gz. The other part is the same. So you extract it and then you close it. So this part is actually, in case you have seen the video, kind of similar to the, the zip file module, which is great uh, because then it's easier to, um, well, to keep in mind how that works. But just as I said, be aware that it depends whether you got tar.gz file or only a tar file. But that would be the code, just a few lines of code here to extract it. And uh, let's actually execute this. Let's maybe get rid of here those empty lines. And uh, let's have a look at our folder. Currently, as you see, there's only the tar.gz file. And now if we execute this, let's run it. And let's have a look at our folder. And you see that now we have extracted here um, the folder as well as here an additional readme file, which was included in this tar.gz file. Okay, so that's everything I have for you today. So hopefully that was helpful. If so, then please give this video a like and share it with your friends or everyone interested um, who 
could use this uh, for his or her work. Otherwise, please subscribe to the channel because currently it's still small, but hopefully with your support, it will grow and growing means there will be additional great videos for you coming for various tools like Power BI, Tableau, and Python, of course, machine learning, AI, everything you want to have know. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Please take care of yourself and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.